hello everyone welcome back to my channel the far experience and today we are gonna go through another episode of real life experience of going through petco even i'll try to cover PetSmart, but the idea of today's experience is to set up an aquarium for my house so stay tuned let's move in so here we are at petco and let's get inside and we need to go and get our fish from in there so it's a windy but it's a pretty beautiful day if you can see it's quite sunny all right let's go inside So the very first thing I'm going to start today is with a special mention for this employee who was working there and I have put his TikTok and YouTube link uh, at the beginning. Now make sure if you have any questions related to, you know, marine life, he is the, your go-to guy. Uh, go to TikTok, check out his profile. Mostly he's available on TikTok, not so active on YouTube, but yeah, please support him. Yeah, it's 5.99. Okay. I'll take that. It? Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Um, but just know though, mm -hmm. that's just only gonna help catch stuff. It's not gonna get rid of anything. Yeah, right. Okay, like so. Yeah, I, so I, I just have know. to change it all the time, right? Yep. Um, or you can try and add a little bit more. This is a completely optional. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. um, in order to help get rid of stuff and produce less maintenance, you can get some of these or some of these and like kind of put it in with those, and that'll help reduce ammonia stuff like that. But that's only if you need it. Okay. Say. But uh, yeah, it's another way you can do it. So again, that's his information. He is mostly on TikTok, so not so much active on YouTube. So you can straight away reach him on TikTok and connect with him. All the best. Now, before we enter Petco, let's jump into the history and do our prep work. Because we cannot have any pets without doing the prep work. So let's get ready. So the first and foremost, what we are going to need is a 10 gallon tank. So I've already bought this aquarium. And then I got some LED lightings for this, which I have already embedded to the aquarium. And then least but not the last, we'll need some artificial plants and beads, which I have already filled the tank with. So this is our 10 gallon tank. Uh, with the lightings on I have already set that up if you can see in the screen the next thing we are gonna need is like a water heater which we have actually got from Petco 2 so we are gonna set this water heater up to and I'm going to put the link in the description below for the water heater next in line what we are going to need is an air filter so we can get that again from petco so i've already got the water filter right there since we are setting up an aquarium we have all the items which we need now we need the fish though so for that we are going to go back to petco and get it from there but before we move in let's see what does petco actually offers and how was the experience going to be later on we'll come back and we have to do the assembly for the aquarium too stay tuned personally i started with uh, PetSmart, but uh, I went to PetSmart and I didn't find my guppies so I had guppies in the past I wanted guppies this time too but unfortunately they didn't have it and then the collection was not as big and also it depends upon location to location so then I walked up to this Petco and I was surprised to see what sort of collection they have even live pets you know and that was awesome apart from that they have everything one would need for their pet which is really you know astonishing they do have this awesome adoption center too but right now i'm not uh, you know into dogs maybe some other day and mind it guys again it's not a pr promoted video so it's i'm just sharing my own personal experiences so based on your pet type you can see there are different aisles which actually offer you different sort of stuff for your pets be it a cat or a dog or a fish or a reptile whatever you want you would be able to find it here and that is again uh, fantastic 
they also have this amazing grooming center for your pet so in just in case you you know you need to groom your pet it's right there in front of you and right at your doorsteps right so you walk in and it's right there indeed an awesome experience now let's move back to your house and get the assembly So our tank is ready now, it fill, it's filled up with water, we have got artificial plants in there and we have got also some space back there where fishes like usually they like to hide so the fish can go and hide in there. And all the artificial plants are in place, mind it guys for you know for fish you also need to have some hiding spots so I have got you know like I have got one of the spot right here now also it depends what sort of fish you'd like to have or whatever pet you'd like to have you know but then mind it uh, because I'm most probably gonna get a freshwater fish uh, likely a guppy so they like warm water tropical water and the water right now is cold as I can see so I'm gonna first set up the water heater so by the time we get the fish it's ready with the nominal temperature so that's the water heater with the red light on that means it's heating and once the water temperature is nominal uh, it, or room temperature it will turn to green so I'm gonna just put the water heater in here so now since our water heater is in place now we are gonna put the water filter right in there so now we have set up our water filter and we'll just slide it down to the bottom. So we have got our water filter right here and then we have got the water heater. And now we let it sit for a day. So you know it all settles out. So before we head out, we are going to take half a bottle of water from the aquarium and this is for the reason that we are going to get it tested uh, by an expert at Petco just to make sure all the water, you know, uh, quality is good enough for the fish. So let's take the water bottle and take it along with us. So as you see, our 10 gallon aquarium is fully ready now. The it's filled with water, artificial plants, we have got a water heater back there and then we have got a water filter right here. So the only thing we are looking for now is the fish. So let's head to Petco, get our fish and get our aquarium setup done. So this is the front view of our aquarium. Everything is set. And we'd be just getting our guppies to fill it in there since we are heading to petco so now let's go in there and first talk about what sort of live pets do they have that was exciting so the first thing they have is these cute little hamsters they have got it like it all the shape and sizes so yeah and mind it, the prices actually vary. So for on a different day, it could be different based on demand and supply. Right now, it says twenty-two dollars. Oh, I'm sorry, that is for the mice. That's that's a cute little mice right there. So at different phases of my life I had had like a lot of different pets but I know mice are really notorious but look how cute they are but yeah once they're in a bunch they, they can do you know awesome damage <laughs> to be honest but yeah still they look cute and it's fun actually watching them live you know at Petco 
and that's why this is also one of the good experiences uh, awesome so now let's move on to our next section which is basically reptiles So they do have a good collection of reptiles including snakes and as I was you know walking around the store so this caught my attention. So these are the famous bearded dragons but I think they are overpriced like they were charging around 80 bucks for it. I think they are a bit pricey for that but then again uh, they are a good pets actually you know if you have the means because primarily you have to have an aquarium sort of thing and then you even ha will have to have you know temperature regulated uh, aquarium because these are cold-blooded animals so I couldn't find the little ripper maybe he's too camera shy or maybe he's hiding at the back so i don't know but these are again you know the controls which i was talking about to regulate the temperature because these are eventually cold-blooded animals indeed it was fun seeing these little dragons around so again overall it's a good experience too before we jump in to see those snakes unfortunately it looks like i'm running out of luck for those snakes so you can see they do have ball pythons you know con snakes but and they are pricey too like 99 dollars and there could be more you know but then i was not able to find any of those snakes again probably either they might be camera shy or they might be hiding like we don't know so moving forward uh, you can also see you know you can buy different items for if you're planning to have a reptile you can find all sort of habitats for them so you just have to purchase them and put it in the aquarium so overall this was also an awesome experience for me the next in line were birds and though they don't have a large collection of birds over here at that this petco store it was a little disheartening to see these birds because birds are primarily supposed to fly and they're dull faces yeah although there was something good about this you can see you know different birds of different color flock together this looks amazing and like you know that that's giving a rainbow effect this is one of the best part i like to mention that when you go you know pet shopping or shopping something for your pet you get to see all these amazing creatures at one place making it a good experience overall and here we go finally this is what we came for need to get a fish for our aquarium and I'm really surprised they do do have like a really large collection of fish as you can see in the screen and probably I don't even know the names of most of them so to start with I think these are some sort of goldfish or fantails but talking about goldfish I think there's one huge one right here I think that's the one uh, who's trying to basically jump to the uh, jump on the smaller ones and the next in line seems to be i think saltwater fish uh, though i'm gonna buy a freshwater one but i yeah but these are the saltwater fish they do have you can set up an aquarium for saltwater if you want to but that is really hard to maintain that's another problem so all these are hard water oh sorry saltwater fish so you can even see the saltwater fish are basically expensive and this one is unique looks like a eel and though i think it's surprised that a whooping 40 dollars but i don't know you know because in any case i won't be able to maintain a saltwater aquarium again the whooping prices goes up to 70 65 bucks right here so yeah these are again all saltwater fish they won't actually you know survive in your at your home in tap water or something Moving on to what we are trying to get in here today, our freshwater 
fish and so these are the collections starting for freshwater though there has been a lot of problems because i'm trying to have something which is not aggressive as guppies but guppies are like like uh, not available like in pairs so there are guppies but uh, we wouldn't be able to figure out which are males and females and because guppies reproduce like very often so there has to be a proper ratio of male and females maybe like in a 10 gallon tank you have to have like at least three females and two males males are a bit aggressive than females though and finally we are heading towards the beautiful and big goldfish uh, so it's whooping big as you can see and that's why she like she or he is in solitary and I think it's priced at like 100 bucks or something but it's whooping big and there are a lot of other goldfishes available which I can buy I'm just gonna show you but I think I'll not offer goldfish because uh, the one goldfish can actually you know grow to this size in one year and actually my I have a small aquarium like a 10 gallon so that would be small for it so these are the rosy red as you can see and now we are moving to goldfish so these are goldfish and they can grow huge you know and the thing about goldfish is like they can eat whatever fits in their mouth so, so that's a big problem with them so yes i'm avoiding goldfish for today but i'm really confused what i'm gonna buy Finally, we found some guppies, but the problem again is the same. We cannot distinguish between the male and females. They are really small, you know, so my man right there was trying to help me. So we are in a state of serious confusion because there are, if not guppy, what else we are going to buy? Because every fish, you know, uh, has, is to be tackled differently. And primarily, I have only experience with guppies though now it's a very great experience but the problem with me now is i'm in a state of confusion and i'm not able to figure out what you know i should get and that that's how when you know my man stepped in and he's gonna help me figure something out stay tuned and see the conclusion overall a good experience as usual this is my man who came for the rescue so the conclusion and water test So you guys might remember the bottle of water which I brought along me from the aquarium I set up at home. My man right here did the, you know, uh, alkalinity test and then the water was good for the fish to survive, especially the freshwater ones. Alright, so it's green, right? Yep, so that one's good, that one's good, that one's good, that one's good, they're all good. Perfect, so the water is good. Yep. And he also helped me pick the fish which would suit my needs and mind it guys I have, I'll share his TikTok and YouTube here and he is a he's big into fishing so please make sure and subscribe him on TikTok and you could reach out to him for information I would probably go a little bit lower mm -hmm. in the amount wise just because uh, if you're just starting you never know what will happen and worst of the worst I'm gonna get a couple more if you think that it need be um, so 10 is fine uh, for now you can um, or more or so finally we got what we wanted and my man threw in a few snails too for my aquarium and these fish should go good with snails. So let's go to the checkout. <laughs> she's right in the front. That's right. That's your seat, right, Stella? Oh, she really wants to hang out. I'll see you later, girl. Oh, she likes to eat people. So hey. <laughs> she loves me eating people. All right. Have a good one. So Finally, we are done checking out and we'll need to move home ASAP. Overall, an awesome experience. So make sure whenever you transfer fish, you need to do acclimatization because you are bringing them with a different water and temperature. So here I'm putting up my fish and the two snails into the water for like a couple of hours, two hours. Ideally, it's 30, 45 minutes to an hour, an hour, but I personally prefer to keep them like two hours so they settle out, you know, properly. And here I'm back after two hours. I'm gonna, you know, 
get them out of those bags and so this this image is actually after four hours so you might be able to see those fish swimming and you can even see the small snail on the right top so he has crawled over at the top of the aquarium so looks like they are enjoying their new home and everything is well settled i hope you guys like this video and would appreciate my end to end experience of setting up an aquarium and the pet petco experience too so for all such experiences from all over the world please continue to subscribe support and feel free to comment and connect me in the comment section signing out for today have a good one bye bye